Good evening. I'm very honored to be here tonight in the presence of so many powerful and inspiring women who've, been, who've sparked profound change in communities around the world. I'm sure all of us will leave here tonight feeling recharged and ready to take on the world. Ernst & Young is a proud sponsor of tonight's awards. We believe in the incredible potential of women to enrich Canada's communities, improve the bottom line in our organizations, and strengthen our economy. It's why we work so hard in our firm to help women make strategic connections, get the high profile assignments they need to get noticed, and build relationships with leaders who will fight for their advancement at executive levels. We know that when women have the support they need to make their voices heard at decision-making tables, that's when real change happens. Creating richer diversity at the top sparks healthy debate. It helps us challenge what was done in the past, generates new and exciting ideas, and leads us to better ways of moving forward and breaking new ground. One woman here tonight who has broken ground on many levels and is a true inspiration to women in her field is Christina Amon. Christina became the first female dean of Canada's largest engineering school in 2006. She has quickly become one of the most admired and preeminent engineers in Canada and in the world. Currently, Christina is the Dean and Alumni Chair Professor of the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering at the University of Toronto. She is also a Professor of Bioengineering and Mechanical and Industrial Engineering. I'm very proud to present Christina Amon, the YWCA Woman of Distinction for Science and, techno and engineering. Congratulations, Christina. What I love from the YWCA is the mandate to improve a woman's life, to make the life of a woman brighter. I think many of us many of us have been in our different fields. And in engineering, as we know, there is an underrepresentation of gender in the profession. Uh, but we also know how enriching the environment um, by diver diverse viewpoints enhances the creativity in what we do in engineering. So I feel it is our responsibility to bring more into the field. She is uh, my uh, role model, my mentor. Uh, she guided me through this leadership path. I would say uh, Christina is, uh, is a person who can make people feel comfortable and warm uh, and motivated so that we're willing to work with her or for her. Uh, that's what I deeply feel because I feel deeply uh, in her heart she cares and she treats people with respect and, and with like to so that you don't feel she's high up, she's trying to impose or sh she's a superior person. No, she always ma makes people feel that we are on equal footage and we all share to, uh, to work and make the place better. As a young girl, I didn't quite think that I was going to be an engineer, but when I think back, I can see how many things in my childhood shaped me to work, becoming an engineer teacher and an engineer. Um, and when I was about five years old, I thought that the radios had inside little people who were those who sing and read the, the news. So when my parents were away, I undertook the task of opening the radio to find out about the little people. 
think I learned several things from there. Um, not only that the little people were not there, but also that there is the technology um, that enabled us with the ingenuity and the creativity that then became engineering in my heart, enables us to do arts entertainment and other things that um, improves or helps or facilitates human life. Please welcome the 2011 Woman of Distinction, Christina Amon. Thank you all for this award. It does mean a great deal to me as a woman and as an engineer. UWACA Toronto believes that its contact with young women can be an important turning point for them. A redirection that points them towards a positive, affirmative future. That concept of being there in a young person's life when it matters most resonates with me deeply. Even as a young girl, I was fascinated with how things work. I wanted to get inside devices like my parents' radio, understand the principles and systems that underpin the technologies we take typically for granted. I also wanted a profession that has or could have a positive impact on people's life that can improve people's life in some meaningful ways. And for me, engineering both answered those questions and gave me, as a young woman, a sense of purpose, confidence, and accomplishments. It also gave me the opportunity, the responsibility, and the privilege to influence, in some way, the education of the next generation of engineers. I am so thankful that I was supported in a direction that fulfilled my dreams. And I know, too, that the idea of being a turning point resonates with my colleagues at the University of Toronto. In my faculty, we pride ourselves on our inclusiveness and diversity. And I believe that engineering can be a turning point for young women as well. Too many too soon lose their love of invention, of understanding how things work, and how they can innovate and offer solutions to the world's most pressing needs. Sometimes they give, us, they give up on math and science and let a love and a bright future fade. So I am very, very proud to accept this award for all the young women who have taken up the challenge and rewards of the life as an engineer and who become then the role models for the next generation. Worldwide, they are making a difference as the YWCA has and as I hope in whatever small way I have been able to do. Thanks so very much. <laughs>